Hey guys, we're back. It's time guys, I came across some more TikTok hacks. I have scoured TikTok for some really interesting recipes or food hacks or things like that. And after I mean the, the success of Delgona coffee, I mean, that was delicious. I mean, obviously Delgona coffee didn't originate on TikTok, but that's where I found it. So we're back and we're gonna test them out. We're gonna see what they're like. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. New videos here every single Saturday. And give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more TikTok recipes. And we're gonna start with recipe number one, being a smoothie bowl. And this is something I've seen a lot of on TikTok, but also on Instagram, and they just look so good. Like the way that I like blend it and scoop it, it's just, it's so satisfying. But I've always wanted to try making one, so I felt like today we could make one together and just see what the big fuss is and if it's actually like really delicious. I don't know. First, I gotta get my heavy duty blender out. Like I'm normally not a smoothie girl. Like I don't like, like banana smoothies or anything strawberry banana. I don't know. I just, it, that's not my thing, but I love a good green juice. So that's why I have this. So the recipe I chose is from Twin Coast and they're twins that have developed like a ton of different smoothie recipes. And most of the videos that I've seen have come from them. And so the one that I chose, it looked really, really good. Took a screenshot. Where is it? Where are you? Oh, here it is. Okay. It's called peach Raz. Pretty straightforward, it's peaches and raspberries. Get this thing going. And the recipes are surprisingly really straightforward. I thought they would be a lot more complex, but it's essentially, it's a lot of frozen fruit, which is why we gotta move quickly because it needs to be frozen. We're gonna start with one cup of frozen raspberries, two cups of frozen peaches, a teaspoon of honey, and then a splash of milk. Now they use oat milk, but they said you can use any milk that you want. And now blend. We gotta go low and slow. And they actually had a bunch of really good tricks. So you want to start with the softest fruit at the bottom and then work your way up to a harder fruit, like a frozen strawberry, for example, that should be at the very top. And then you just want to mix it as quickly as you possibly can, but start on a slower setting before moving up to a higher one. This is not working the way that she did it. Get in there. I want to smooth people. I don't know, that I used the exact measurements and amounts that they did, and mine is not blending up like theirs is. This is super annoying. Okay, I don't get it. I feel like the amounts are off. Like it just, I'm barely getting enough close to the blade to allow it to blend. It's still seedy. It's not that smooth consistency that they have. Also a very different color. <laughs> All right, so I'll have up on the screen what theirs ended up looking like, and now I'm gonna show you guys what mine ended up looking like. So it's very thick. It certainly doesn't look as thick as um, the girls did, but it isn't moving. So I got my nice gold spoon here. We'll try. Just not as nice as theirs. I don't know what it is. I have a Vitamix and it just, it doesn't have that super smooth consistency that theirs does. And the longer I blend it and the longer I do this, the more the blender is going to heat up and melt the smoothie bowl. It's already probably more melted than it should be. Um, but I'm definitely not getting the same consistency or the same color. I don't know what kind of pink that is, but that isn't something that you get from raspberries. But regardless, we will try. Ooh. Ah. Like I have to say, this is pretty fun. Like just like smoothing it down. Ooh, so aesthetic. And now we're gonna jazz it up with some stuff. This is where everyone gets so creative with their smoothie bowls. I don't know who has time for this in the morning? I need to know who you are. We're gonna put some blueberries on one side. <gasps> so artsy. Some raspberries in here too. No, 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 you can't be on top of the blueberries. You must aesthetically be around them. I also have some toasted coconut from when Chris made us blindfold taste test desserts. I mean, I gotta say, she looks real cute. Very aesthetic, very Insta, slash also TikTok. Like, I mean, look at that. I cannot imagine doing this every single morning, but it looks great. Well, I guess I should taste test this before it melts. My fancy spoon. Christopher, do you wanna try a, a smoothie bowl? I like smoothies. And this is in bowl form. You don't get a fancy spoon though. You gotta get a plain old spoon. That's it. <laughs> Christopher! Cheers. Cheers. That's good. Yeah. I mean, it tastes like a smoothie. Do you try it with the toasted coconut? I don't I could, need it. I could take or leave that. Yeah. No, fruit's good though. Fruit is good. I think next time I would just make more so that I could blend up 
the raspberry seeds more. I'm not getting too much of that. No? I'm very sensitive to it. <laughs> it's not a ton, but it's there. But like, it's very good. Yeah. It's, it's a smoothie. It's a very thick smoothie. The kids would like that. Kids would like this. Yeah. Like a lot. It's just, this is a lot for me. And it's very cold. I don't think I would eat this every day. What about as like a, I don't want to say shot glass, but like, you know, small portion kind of thing. Like that's a, like that's a lot. That's a lot. What about in like one of these as an accompaniment to breakfast? That'd be good. That would be good. Okay. That, that I can get on board for. They always do these like big, huge bowls because they look so pretty, but. Right. That's very insta. I don't know what that is. Yeah, no, I can see it totally working for one of the smaller bowls. And I think that's a more reasonable portion for myself. Well, and also this could work on Insta or TikTok if you just zoom in. Two blueberries here and like a couple flakes of shredded coconut here. Is there anything else? Not yet. That's right. next. Okay. All right. I'll just, let you boy. Okay. I'll let you know. Now we're going to dive into a recipe that is on the other end of the spectrum to the smoothie bowl. And that is deep fried Dorito coated baby bell cheese. I can't even say it without laughing. No one is mad about deep fried cheese and I had never actually thought about deep frying baby bells and they're just like little miniature little cheeses that are all like ready to go and bite size. And we're not gonna just try the regular flavor of Doritos. We're gonna try a flavor that I actually just picked up. And this is the late night Buffalo hot wings version. I really like they had a late night nachos one. It was so good, guys. I can't find it anywhere though. Discontinued it. Doritos, bring it back. But these ones have a little bit of a kick to it. They're kind of chicken wing flavor, you know? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But I thought the buffalo flavor profile would really complement the whole like deep fried cheese action, you know? Okay, so what we are going to do is we're gonna take our baby bells. First, you have to unpackage them. I loved the wax coating when I was growing up. We all made little animals out of this wax though, right? That wasn't just me. And it gets all like melted in your hands. Okay, I gotta, I'm getting distracted. So the first step is to coat the baby bells in flour. One at a time, stick them in. I'm gonna do four, just, I don't know. No reason. I happen to like even numbers and um, that felt right. Two didn't feel like enough. Okay, once they are good and thoroughly coated, you wanna go in and dunk them into an egg wash. Ooh, actually before we do that, we wanna crush up our Doritos. So I have them right here in a little bag and we will crush them. And she crushed them up pretty thoroughly. Like it's still chunky, it wasn't like a dust, but it wasn't as like big of chunks as these are. Just keep crushing, just keep crushing. All right, this feels like a good level of crushed. Now we're gonna take these baby bells that were coated in flour and we're gonna dunk them into an egg. Get them good and coated. And then into the Doritos. Whee. But are we done there? No, we're not. We're gonna go back into the egg and then back into, <gasps> Making a mess back into the Doritos. So your hands should look like this and your baby bells like this. Christopher, look what I'm doing. <laughs> look, you know what these are? They're baby bell cheeses. <laughs> this is the um, the buffalo wing um, oh, yeah. Doritos. Oh, that could be good. Yeah, right? I hate breading things like that. It's Why? just the worst kitchen task. Why? I don't mind your hands. You don't want a hug? Uh, eat it. <laughs> okay, now that these are done, I'm gonna go stick them into, we have like a little mini oven. It's called a Brava, and we're gonna set it on it like an air fry setting, which is what the woman in the video did. And we're gonna put that in for three minutes, see what we end up with. Hopefully they look as good as they do in the video. All right, these are out of the air fryer. They needed a little bit more time. I'd say closer to like six minutes, then three, but I have one here. They like did explode a little bit, but it is melted cheese, so. Let's split these guys open. Ooh, look at that cheese pull. Ooh, it is, it's hot, it's hot. Okay, I'm taste testing. Mmm, that was pretty tasty. This is for luck. You have to taste test this. Cheesy. Ooh, like a mozzarella stick. Yeah. The taste is good, the texture is not light. Would have expected. It's not as crispy. No, it isn't. It almost feels like it got dried out on the outside. It tastes more stale than crisp. Okay, I can see that. I wouldn't have pegged that immediately, but like I get it. So you would fry these if you were gonna do this again. Like deep fry. I think that would probably be better. There's no crunch to it. It's just a hard outside. I get crunch, but I see what you're, like it's more a stale chip crunch yeah. than like a 
fry crunch. Buffalo flavor is good though. It is really good with the it. Cheese and mm -hmm. the And I like the fact that they're like individual little ones, you know? Good party food, yeah. but I deep fry them. Yeah. That's fair. So delicious though. I'm gonna eat them all. Now I wanna try out a baking recipe. This is a baking hack that I saw, so that's why we have Franny out with us today. And the hack was shared by a baker on TikTok who was saying that there's a way to make a boxed cake recipe taste gourmet if you just adjust and modify some of the add-ins that they recommend on the back of the box. And so I thought the best way to test this out would be not just to make the gourmet version, no, that's not enough. Because what are we gonna compare it to? It's just, it's gonna be a chocolate cupcake. It's going to be delicious. So I'm actually also going to be making the recipe as per the instructions on the back of the box. And she said in the video that this could apply to any cake mix. Any cake mix that you want to do, it's gonna work for. So I have chocolate because chocolate cake is delicious. And I've already put together the recipe for the cake mix as per the directions on the back of the box. So first I just put in three eggs, half a cup of vegetable oil, and then one cup of water. Mix it all together with the cake mix itself, and then here it is right here. So now let's go on to the gourmet version. Also RIP my beautiful glass bowl. She's no longer with us. She broke whilst making cookie dough. And I mean, if there is any way to go, it would be that way. But yes, recipe. So the first thing she said is instead of three eggs, you use five eggs. So we're gonna put five eggs into the bowl. One, two, three, four, five. Washing hands. And to the eggs, we are gonna add, instead of one cup of water, we're gonna add one cup of milk. Just dump that right into the bowl. And then lastly, instead of whatever the amount is of vegetable oil that your cake mix is requiring, you use double the amount in melted butter. So on the box of, what did I get here? I got Betty Crocker fudge cake. This recipe called for half a cup of vegetable oil, so instead of that, I am going to do one cup of melted butter. Do, 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 do. We've been playing too much Mario Party lately. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna give that a little mix. Then we're gonna add in our cake mix. Get in there. Beautiful. Oh, the smell of it is nostalgia. Then we're just gonna mix that together. All right. That looks good. Then we're just gonna pop this into the cupcake tin. All right, thank you, Francesca, you're dismissed. Also to help me to differentiate between the two sides, I'm putting a little tin foil on the side that is gourmet. Saying that out loud so I don't forget. And this cake recipe like brings me back. Not the gourmet one, but the one off the box because that is the one that my mom made for us every single year for my sister and my birthdays. Box cake has always been my preference growing up over like a cake from the supermarket or from a bakery or something like that. I just didn't like the consistency, the frosting, none of it really was my thing. But chocolate cake mix cake, sign me up. Already I have to say, I am noticing a big difference in terms of the consistency of the batters. So when I was scooping in the, the original one, it was very runny, very watery. It didn't have a nice thick batter-like consistency versus the one that I just kind of put together here. It just feels more cake-like. Like you guys can probably see the difference right there. Like one is quite dark and then one is a little lighter and looks thicker. So we're gonna stick this into a 350 oven for 14 minutes and then do a little toothpick test. See if these are donezo. Oh, this one is not full enough. Oh, that would have been embarrassing. Can't have an under full cupcake, no, no. That's unacceptable. All right, get all delicious. Now we're gonna try out probably the easiest looking quesadilla recipe that I've ever come across. And that is creating one in the toaster. It looks super, super easy and there really isn't much to this. But I wanna see if it works, if the cheese stays in place, if it gets nice and crispy on the outside. Like this recipe would have been a game changer for me in high school. Also in elementary school. Can you imagine having these after school? Like I wasn't allowed to use the oven or the stove and like this would have been perfect. It would have been perfect. So you need a little tortilla. They didn't specify what type of tortilla, though I would recommend probably flour tortilla because it's going to fold the easiest and not like crack and break. And then you need cheese and then whatever else you want to put into your quesadilla. I'm just gonna use cheese. I guess this is kind of like a, kind of like a grilled cheese then, isn't it? So you want to put all of your cheese onto one half of the tortilla. I want to overfill it for fear that it might ruin my toaster. Basically, you just want to fold it in half and then fold it 
on either side. So you create almost like an envelope or like a fancy napkin. My dad makes the best fancy napkins. It's kind of a thing in our family that every year, my dad's the one that folds the napkins for Christmas because he makes them super fancy. Sometimes they're Christmas trees or Santa's hats. I don't know what he's gonna do this year, but it's gonna be great. Maybe I'll show you guys on Instagram. And then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna toast it. That's it. Bingo bango. She puts the fold towards the outside. So I am too going to put the fold towards the outside. And then we toast. She said to toast it for three minutes, but it kind of depends on your toaster. So I'm just going to leave it on level two. Who knows what the levels actually mean for toasters. Have we figured that out yet? I don't know. And then we'll just see and we'll like adjust from there. I'm full on helicopter momming this toaster. Honestly, if this works, this would be such a good after school snack. Like even making this for my kids and when Julia gets a little bit older, she could probably make this on her own. Throw in a little dipping, like maybe some, maybe I'll pull some guacamole, some salsa. Those are good dippers for quesadillas. Do you guys put a lot of stuff in your quesadillas like chicken and guac and other things? I don't know, I'm just waiting here at the toaster. Nope, level two of this toaster, not enough. I love this setting on my toaster. This is such an over the top toaster. I have a button that says a little bit more. Let's do that. Although I'm gonna be honest, a little bit more doesn't, I don't think that's gonna be enough. I'm gonna wait here, just holding up. Ooh, my cupcakes are done, maybe. Let's find out. Ooh, no, they are not, not done, not done. Oh, maybe this one's done? No, I want it more crispy. This looks good. Got a little bit of a crispiness on the outside, you know? Cheese is melted. Excellent, I am so stoked about this. Okay, it's, I know it's just cheese and tortilla, but still, is it like melted all the way through? Ooh, yeah, it is, it's hot. Ooh. It did not leak out the bottom though. I will give it that. I mean, it is starting to leak now that I've cut it, but like, oh, it's so hot, you wanna keep picking it up. I got some dips, got some guac, a little bit of salsa. It's straightforward. Like it did a good job and I didn't have to pull out a pan and like grease it and flip it. Like this was so straightforward. That's awesome. Oh, TikTok, you did it again. I'm so excited. I get so excited when I find things like this. Christopher, do you want to try a toaster quesadilla? Oh, my cupcakes. I'd rather try the cupcakes, but I'll try the toaster quesadilla. <laughs> One at a time. Are you trying it without me? I was invited. Well, so it's a quesadilla. It is a quesadilla. Huh? I did that in the toaster. Any of the cheese spill out? No. No, none. It was really easy too. You just like little fold, pop it in. Like how great would that have been for like after school snack? Am I right? Absolutely. Mm. Excited about those cupcakes though. Yeah, they look good. Mm -hmm. Thank you for toasting with me. All right, cupcakes are done. Now we shall taste test them. Cupcakes are done? No. <laughs> do you want to know which one's which first or do you want to taste test them first? I'll taste test them and See say which guess. one I prefer. Okay. Oh, are you investigating this? Yeah, let's take a look. The See? crumb. This one is darker. This one looks like it rose more. Okay, I mean, that's pretty basic. Well, hopefully it's the one from the- <laughs> Hopefully it's just a rock cake, because that's what they say. I'm not getting any difference. Really? Yep. Oh, see, I notice a difference right away. The one on the side tastes more buttery to me. You don't notice a big difference? I'm not getting anything, nope. Mmm, interesting. Like, it is not super noticeable. I will say that. But because I know that this one has butter in it, it does taste more buttery to me. Remarkably similar. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. No, I don't have a very refined palate. They both just kind of taste like cake and not great cake either. I like them. This is my childhood. Be respectful. Mmm. It's so good. This one is definitely to me a lot airier. The one that had the water in it. This one at least tastes more substantial, though both are quite light in terms of consistency. But you mm. like a much denser, like thick, fudgy kind of cake, right? I do, yep. Well then get out of here, cause I'm gonna I'd eat this then. <laughs> Bye everyone. Have you guys tried any TikTok food hacks? And if you have, if there are any that I haven't tried yet, can you leave them down below? Because I think these are super fun and really entertaining. And I think that a lot of them that I've tried have worked really well. Let me know if there are any others that I should be trying out and check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos here every single Saturday. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah. I'm gonna sit here and eat this. I don't even have any icing on this. I do have to say though, I'm team cake greater than icing. I'm just calling it, I'm just saying. Oh.